Yesterday, I posted a, a picture of some smoke herring on one of my on my um, Instagram account profile, and um, one of my one of my followers she said that you know she made she stewed the smoke herring and she prepared it really really nicely and it sounds really really yummy. So my intention was to respond to her and say that you know. Um, I haven't done this in a long time because I haven't made smoke herring in a long time because my husband doesn't eat it. And when I when I listen to myself saying that, I have been saying that for many, many years. I haven't cooked a lot of dishes because my husband doesn't like it. Um, <clears throat> so basically, I have, I have deprived myself of things that I like because of my husband. Um, and I haven't gone certain places because of my husband. Um, when I grew up as a young teenager, uh, my husband, my previous, this is my second husband I'm living with. He's from St. Vincent. My first husband, um, which I got married in Trinidad, we used to go to a lot of parties and stuff, you know. So we were into dancing. My mom loved to dance music and stuff. And uh, my husband is not really a dancer. He doesn't dance. He can't. He says he can't dance. So I have avoided places where that to put the, for him to be embarrassed where he has to dance. But thinking about it, I haven't really taken the initiative to to show him how to dance. I'm not a very aggressive person like that, you know. So I basically turned the other way. I avoided it. I shut off myself to to accommodate him. And I've noticed that I have done it for quite quite a few years. And now that I'm realizing that now, I want to make a change, make a change of myself in respect to that. Do things that I really want to do that I enjoy. Um, and I don't know, it's, take, it's taken a little while for me to adjust my mindset because I have made so many changes for so long of things that I haven't been doing that I used to do when I was younger before I came to the BVI. I don't know, it's something that I'm thinking about, you know, very, very closely, you know, I don't know, make a change in my life. And I find I'm trying to do that now. I find I may have made neglecting my husband. I feel sort of a, I don't know the right word. Um, but it's not his fault. It's basically my doing because I wanted to please him. I think this is what I was trying to say. Is it wrong to please your husband? Of course you want to please your husband, yes, but I think I took it, um, I turned it dial too much to the right, being to more to 90%, instead of turning it more to the left to like about 50%, you know, that kind of way. Um, yes, I'm working on that to try and, you know, make some changes in my life and to do things that I really enjoy and go places that I want to go, regardless if my husband is there or not. And sometimes, you know, I remember a time we wanted to go to the, I said, well, let's go to the beach. Let's go to a beach called, what's the name of it again? Brewers Bay. Brewers Bay, yeah. And for weeks, he didn't want to go. He didn't want to go. Eventually, I got him to go. He said he agreed to go. So we went and we had such a good time. Um, we spend about two hours at the beach, you know, and is I notice that it's always a challenge to get him to do something that, out of his out of his norm, you know, is a challenge, and I'm tired of that, you know. And it's it, anyway. I think I'll end this this now. Excuse the noise. I thought it would be nice to come here and do this recording as I had it thought in my mind, but the wind is picking up, and of course it will overpower my voice. I hope this clip recording is not a waste of time. Bye.